My name is Anton Natic. I'm a co-founder and CEO of Integrail, the platform for easy creation of AI agents. So the next type of agents is uh, memory and state. Uh, we just looked at the reflex. Now we are moving to more interesting agents who are able to retain information and update it between interactions, between sessions. So normally the agents like that would, would look like this. It's almost the full um, architecture that we started from. The main difference is that we are updating short-term memory, but we are not really updating long-term memory because updating long-term memory from the agent, it's kind of a learning feature, so we are not including it here. But updating short-term memory is very important and it opens up lots of additional possibilities. So, uh, yeah, before we get to those possibilities, let's just discuss building um, an, also another sort of basic agent which uses chat history. Because previous agents that we looked at, they have no history. Let me just demonstrate it real quick. There was this simplest agent that we have that has no rag and has no understanding of history. Let's ask it about somebody famous. Uh, I don't know who is Hemingway. Right, so it, it responds because it's a famous person, uh, so it uh, it can provide some sort of an answer. But now, if we write something like, um, "What books did he write?" we will see that it has no notion of context. It doesn't know what we just discussed. Uh, it has no idea that we asked about Ernest Hemingway and it starts talking about who is here. We're talking about Shakespeare, blah, blah, blah. So let's remedy this. We definitely want our agents to be able to understand the, the chat history. So let's go to the next demo, which is number, number, number seven. So to do the chat, is actually quite easy. Uh, the two changes we need to make, well, let's actually build it from scratch because it's a pretty important uh, change. So let's just kill this one. Once again, we are left with agent inputs and agent output. We can go into different nodes, but this time, instead of adding LLM simple, so LLM simple is the node that we use only for transactional agents. If we want them to use chat history, we need to use LLM chat uh, node. It's all the same models that are available, just that it supports the chat functionality. So let's go, let's choose whatever model we want. Um, but then uh, to connect it, if you try to connect user prompt, we cannot, it can only go to system prompt, but this expects messages. We can't really connect it. So we need another box, which actually deals with chat history. This is the node that is called unimaginatively exactly that, chat history. So the way to create an agent that understands history is just connecting user prompt to user prompt and then messages to messages and then output to output, that's it. Again, in 30 seconds, we have created an agent that supports um, chat. So let's let's move to the one I have pre-created because it also has rag functionality and that's a bit more fun. Uh, where is it? So yeah, that's, that's the one. So again, it's the same architecture. It has chat history, it has an LLM, and it has additionally vector search connected so that it can uh, provide uh, some context when interacting with us. I had a quick, so go ahead. Yep. quick question about the relevance and, and temperature. Are those yep. set by in your design? Uh, are those what, sorry? Uh, Is it just a preset that you know comes with every, I would say every piece of what I'm using? In a like designer? a default? Yeah, kind of like a default setting. Ah, yeah, no, you can you can uh, edit it any way you like. Uh, it's just again all those all those parameters we can we will drift away too much if we start discussing them. But normally, uh, you would work with system prompt, user prompt, and temperature. Temperature mostly controls the randomness of output, 
people sometimes say it's creativity. It's not really creativity. It's just randomness. Yeah, so what I meant know. was what I meant was that you know it's it's a default setting that you have put there based on your experience as part of ah, the development, yes. right? Yeah, yeah. So usually, if I ask it to do some creative stuff, I make it closer to like one. If if I want it to be more predictable and uh, you know consistent, I make it like zero point one or something. So would it be one. safe to assume that going forward, you know, you can you know, let's say fine tune it, it will auto auto update on my previous designs, or it would stay as as I created it. That's another good idea. We will think about it. For now, we, we didn't plan to out-update it, but uh, we actually might think about it. That's an interesting uh, notion. So along those lines, I, I'm kind of interested in, uh, you know, rather than just chatting with you, does this thing have, like, the ability to do your expense report? <laughs> uh, so, sorry, I also missed the part of... Uh, uh, do, instead of just chatting with you, would this thing have the capability to do your expense report? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, actually, uh, that's, it's just, uh, sorry, sometimes I get carried away, but what the LLMs are very good at is transforming one structure of text into another. So basically, if you just need to convert from one format to another, and in a sense, expense report is just, uh, you know, gathering all kinds of data from your uh, sleeps or whatever, and then producing them in a specific format, they are very good at it. And uh, it's... Uh, would it be correct? Well, yeah. Details. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Anton, in this in this situation, shouldn't chat history be tied to the chat output somehow, or or should, shouldn't there be a feedback loop here in the chat history? Yeah, it to, works on the. Yeah, it's. Uh, where is that it, in this chart? Well, it's not really shown. It's uh, under the hood. It's it's another collection on the database. So we just update the history as we go. So as you add conversations, it adds to the history. Are you saying there's another process outside of this one that updates the chat history? Is that what you meant? Yes. It's, okay. uh, actually, it's just this button here that says save in the oh, history. Save. So yeah. If you want to save it, it will save it. If you don't want to save it, it won't save it. <clears throat> so again, let's test it real quick to see that it works. Uh, chat with vector reg. So let's ask it the same question um, with Ernest Hemingway. So it responds that it was an American novelist. Uh, so once again, let's test. It. We'll say, what is his book that you recommend I read first? So once again, we are using his. Uh, the agent that has no context wouldn't be able to answer. Let's see. So of course, this one has the context. So it responds. The great way to start is old man and the sea. Blah blah blah. So we have created an agent that has the basic state, which is our chat history. But that's sort of the most boring and basic way. Let's let's move forward and add a bit more functionality here. So uh, a very contrived example, but we can make it as complicated as we want. Uh, it's called Questionary Builder. Uh, let's move to the designer. And here we will demonstrate not just chat but also updating of the uh, of the of the short term memory Where is it here it is question builder so it has quite a bunch more boxes but at the same time it does the updating explicitly uh, what you have just asked for so what we have we have a node that's called session and session is a node that's being saved between interactions and we can update it any way we like. So the way this agent is set up is quite uh, interesting. Let us spend some time here. So we are saying, we are giving the goal to this agent. We are saying that your goal is to talk to the user and find out the full information. User's name, user's date of birth, user's place of birth, user's hobby. But of course, this can be any types of questions that you want to find out. So any like type of- User's password or something like that? 
login and password ID, authentication, credentials, things of that nature, bank account numbers. <laughs> um, the safety of AI is a separate big topic. Um, so then we are giving some more additional directions. We are basically saying, okay, you have to find out that information any way you need. And then once you have find out, you have to say, ha, 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 here is everything I know about. Um, and then we're also giving some additional instructions. Like if the user says status, you must give the current status. It's just for us to test that the session is in, in fact being updated. So this is the instructions. So if it was just the chat agent, like ChatGPT, it wouldn't be able to do this. I mean, it would probably be able to do such a simple task because it's only four questions, but with more questions, it wouldn't because chat history uh, is very, very limited. So the way we work here, we have created a separate agent, which we call sensors, which after each interaction, it updates our session. So these brains, they have the summary of information of what it knows currently, what's the user's name, user's date of birth, et cetera. And then we have a separate agent that updates this information after every interaction. And here's a different instruction that says your task is to analyze the user's response and update the information in this format. So all it does is updates the session. And this is a very sort of on the surface tiny change, but it makes our agents much, much, much more efficient because in the very concise way, we can keep track of the information that is relevant. We don't need to analyze all the history of 100 messages. We are saving tokens. We are making them much more efficient. So let's see uh, how it works uh, on the example. Uh, questionnaire builder. So I already started talking to it. I'll just con continue the conversation. So as you can see, I said, hi, it says, hello. Then I said, good, how are you? And immediately it asked me for hobbies. That's one of the questions it wants to know. Uh, okay, I could, uh, you know, be difficult and not respond, but for the sake of saving time, I will be easy and I will just respond to all the questions. Uh, I say, I love playing guitar. How about you? Okay, it says, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Love her now. By the way, where are you from? So once again, it kind of tries in the conversation, the casual way, to find out the answers to the questions we gave it the goal to find out. Uh, again, I'll just say I'm from Serbia. That's interesting. We born there is born there as well. It is asking me. Uh, let's test if it will respond to our status instruction. Okay, as you can see, indeed, the session has been updated. This is all the information we keep between the interactions, but this is enough for it to keep going. It says username unknown, date of birth unknown, place of birth Serbia, hobby player. So I can say, okay, yes, I was. Okay, what's your name? All right, Anton, again, just to keep it going. When's your birthday? August 2017, that's it. It has fulfilled its goal. It says what we asked it to, ha, 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 here is a no everything about. Again, it's a very simple contrived example, but now by using the memory, the short-term memory and the update of the session between interaction, we are able to fulfill much more complicated tasks. We're able to give the agents goals and then so this one is very limited, it just talks to me. But if we give this agent more skill agents, it will be able to fulfill much more complicated tasks, like step-by-step -step instructions, et cetera. But we don't even need to give it the exact instructions because it will move towards its goal, which is being updated by using this session mechanism. So once again, very cool functionality of uh, using the session and adding state uh, to our agents. So, yeah, uh, that's it for this section. So once again, for state agents, we have added the memory uh, that is being updated between interactions. And this way, these agents can handle much more complexity. Basically, virtually any multi-step process where we are able to set some goals, we will be able to achieve by creating agents like this.